everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the Tic Tac Doe series. We're on episode of 11 of uh, Tic Tac Doe, and we have our amazing champ again who has won 25 games in a row, and he's about to face his challenger, but it's going to be a rematch game. Corey, tell us our champion. Uh, rematch game, he's going up against Halen from Orchard Park, New York, Garrison Newkirk. I can't believe and I'm calling. His, his champion opponent, hailing from New York City with a total of over $1,054,622, Kyle Hirsch. All right, well, we got our contestants here. Gary, you understand why the rematch is happening, right? It's either because somebody stole my honey buns, or two, maybe because I only got one turn out of the whole game. That's right. I think both. I have your honey buns. You'll get them in about a couple of hours. Right. You um. So yeah, he uh, used the uh, bonus category to blitz you. So we thought it was fair for you to play again. And Kyle, you doing fine. One million four hundred and fifty-four thousand. $622, that's what you got. That's not bad at all. You ready to play? Yes, I is. All right, well, let's see our nine categories, and there are. And they are. Nick Game Shows, Opponent's Choice. Now, Opponent's Choice, if you choose that category, your opponent will choose a category for you. The 1970s, Weather, Nursery Rhymes, Bonus category, books of the Bible, the jumping category, and WWE. Kyle, you're the ex. You should start. Well, of course I'm going to start off with Nick Game Show. Nick Game Shows are in the upper left-hand corner. And here's your question on Nick Game Shows. What 1994 three-episode game show featured kids playing games from Guts, Double Dare, Legends of the Hidden Temple, and what would you do? What? I'll repeat it again. What 1994 three-episode game show featured kids playing games from Guts, Double Dare, Legends of the Hidden Temple, and what would you do? Uh... Super special double there? I don't know. No. I know that one actually. What's the answer, Corey? Nickelodeon All Stars. That's oh, it. Oh. That's it. I stomped you with the uh you I stomped you, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, uh well, no money in the pot and Gary is you're up. World Wrestling Entertainment, please. Okay. And here's your question on the WWE. This six foot four, four and twelve pound Olympic weightlifter goes by the nickname Sexual Talk, Sexual Chocolate. Mark Henry. You're not gonna let me finish the question. You got it. Mark Henry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but when she said Sexual Chocolate, I knew it. Now in the future, Gary, you have to let me finish the question because you know you may um, jump in too soon. You may get it wrong. Okay. Okay. But I'll finish the information. He was also one of the former members of the now defunct team of the Nation of Domination. Name this wrestler. It was Mark Henry. You got your first circle. Good job, Gary. And uh, right. Kyle, which category do you want? Let me redeem myself with Nick Game Shows. Okay. He's going again with Nick Game Shows, and here's your question on Nick Game Shows for your first X. What Nick Game Show features contestants trying to complete three tasks in ten minutes while on hidden camera? It's not Finders Keepers. Um, is that um, Legends of the End Temple? No. I know that one too. What's the answer, Corey? You're on. You're on is right. Oh, You're on is right. That's it. Two thousand dollars still in the pot, and uh, Gary, you're up. The WWE again, please. His, he's going for that WWE, his favorite category. Here's your I question. I'm you go for bonus category. Here's your 
question on the WWE. She is a minority owner and chief brand officer of the WWE. She is also married to wrestler Triple H. Name her. Wait, did you say she or he? I couldn't hear it. He said she. Right. She is married to wrestler Triple H and is the co-owner of the WWE. Right. It's Stephanie McMahon. Correct. So Gary has a foot in this one. $4,000 in the pot. We shuffle. And Kyle, <laughs> where you want to go? <laughs> Game and it's a two-part question. If you need the extra time, uh, you, we'll give it to you. Okay. Give me the name of any two teams that are, that are identified by color and animal on the game show Legends of the Hidden Temple. The Red Jaguars and the Silver Snakes. That is correct. And the other ones was Blue Barracudas, Green Monkeys, Orange Iguanas, and Purple Parrots. So you got it. Um, it's $7,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. And Garrison, where you want to go? Oh. Where you want to go? Hold on, I'm thinking. Um, think, 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 think. Nursery rhymes, please. Nursery rhymes, okay. Here's your question on nursery rhymes, Gary. Which nursery rhyme features this character kissing the girls and making them cry? It is a and is a 1978 song sung by Toto and Cheryl Lynn. Oh, jeez, I have no idea. Um, repeat it for him one more time. I'll do it one more time. Which nursery rhyme features this character kissing the girls and making them cry and is a 1978 song by Toto and Cheryl Lynn? Can I have some extra time, please? You can't because this ain't a center box. Okay, I know we're getting it because I've heard this before. I'm going to tell you shot and say Georgie Porgy? Yes! Ah. Circle, get that box. Nine thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. Are you just yes. the rhyme I do for Hunter? Hunter, Hunter, pudding pie, kiss the girls and made them cry. Right. And um, where do you want to go, Kyle? I have to do jumping category for the block. All right, here is the situation right here. And I'm gonna look it. at y'all's screen. Well, you can you see the screen? Their screens, uh, Corey. Yes, I got it rigged, so it's uh. I'll show their screens. All right. Kyle, if you get this right, you'll, you would have had successfully blocked. But Gary, if you get it right, you'll do what 25 other folks have not done. You'll become the new champion and have $11,000 in the pot, okay? I need I'm having a hard time. Okay, um. <laughs> All right, don't die on me. And here's the question. Hold on. Here's the question. Hannah, y'all. Dial pads. Yes, please be sure I know this. <laughs> Who was in the belly of a fish for three days? Gary, I saw Gary. Gary? Okay, was, it, was it Solomon? You're incorrect, Gary. That means uh, Kyle automatically gets that block. That was a close one. And let me finish the question. Who was in the belly of a fish for three days and three nights because that. he sinned against the Lord according to the Bible? And uh, I know that. Oh. who knows it? I do. That was Jonah. That's correct. So yeah, Kyle, you get credit for that. And but Gary, it's your turn. Where do you want to go? Books of the Bible for the block. Books of the Bible for the block. And here's your question on books of the Bible. The this last book in the Bible features prophecy about the end times for people who are unsaved. It is the most scariest book in the Bible. Name the book, and I'll give you three choices. Is it A, Revelation, B, Lamentations, or C, Ecclesiastics? I know this one. It's Book of Revelation. Put that circle up there. That's a block. $11,000 in a pile. We shuffle. Kyle, where do you go? Let's do... Oh, shit. This is a double whammy for me. Nick Game Shows for the block. Okay, Nick Game Shows for the block. Here's your question. On this Nick Game Show that was hosted by Annette Chavez, Jessica Gaines, 
Omar Gooding and Donnie Jeffcoat. Kids play a, play a lot of playground and sports games on this show. What is this show called? Can you repeat the question? I didn't get that. Yeah, I'll repeat it. On this Nick Game Show that was hosted by Annette Chavez, Jessica Gaines, Omar Gooding, and jo Donnie Jeffcoat, kids played a lot of playground and sports games on this show. What was it called? Wild and Crazy Kids? That's correct. $13,000 in a pot and we shuffle. Please be jumping. And Gary, where do you want to go? I gotta go for the 1970s. Gary, if you're correct on the 1970s, you'll win the game, be the new champion. You have $15,000 and you have done what 25 other people have not done, okay? Here's your question on the 1970s. This Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep movie features a custody battle over their own son. Name this movie. I'll give you the three choices. Are you in the house alone? Kramer versus Kramer or a simple story? Can you please repeat it again? Yes. This Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep movie features a custody battle over their own son. Name this movie. Is it Are You in the House Alone? Kramer versus Kramer? A simple story. I should know this movie. I should know this. I've seen it before. Five seconds. Kramer versus Kramer? Damn it! You're the new champion, Gary! Damn it! Are you serious? Yes, you're the new champion. Are you serious? Gary is Fucking a giant hell. killer. Fucking hell, man, man. In 25 games, we tried to get him I off of his seat. And a rematch. And Gary. Have to wait until for a few games. Gary, you have won $15,000. You're the new champion, and you're in the X position when we uh, get to this game, okay? Get through your game. Well, Kyle, you've been an awesome champion, Kyle. Mm. I'm definitely putting you in the record book. You have yeah, one. Also the tournament of champions book as of right now. Unfortunately, we can't let you play again until the tournament. Right. But you have won 25 games. You beat 25 opponents. You have a total of $1,454,622. And our congratulations, Kyle. Good job. Let me just say, no one will ever catch up to me. Well, no. we'll see. This may be the start of something good for Gary. Mm -hmm. So, Gary, are you ready to face the damn dragon? Can we get off camera for a second? I gotta take a breather. All right, we'll take a commercial break. And when we come back, Gary's gonna face the dragon. Don't go away. Alright guys, we're back on the Rodney1279 channel. We have a new champion that has not happened in 25 games, haven't it, Corey? It has not, but it's a good thing it has happened because our new champion is Garrison Newkirk, who is known now as the Giant Killer. So Gary, are you ready to kick the dragon's ass? Yeah. Let's go to the board, the bonus round board. All right, Gary, well, this is your first time here at the big board. I'm going to explain the rules to you. As you see, there's nine numbers on the board with various amounts from $1,000 to $5,000. And a ticket and attack, your goal is to get to $10,000 before you see how the dragon. And if you uh, can avoid um, picking how the dragon, I think Corey has some prizes for you to share with you. Yep, I definitely do here as soon as I get a new page started here, so give me a minute. Alrighty, here we go. Oops, I almost said that. Here we go, Gary. Alright, here's your price package, buddy. It is an entertainment system with 50-inch projection TV, trip to Boston, living room group, five-piece dining room group, trip to Venice, a spa, 
a price package worth over $31,832. And uh, Gary, if you get the tick and attack, because the jackpot has not been won a few times, we're going to give you a $60,000 bonus. That will bring your uh, total up real fast, okay? Okay. Well, let's cover up the board. And when you're ready, Gary, um, start picking. Seven. Number seven. Let's see what's behind number seven. A tick. Good start, Come Gary. Come on, Gary. Four. If it's a tack back there, you'll win the jackpot and the prize package. Let's see what's behind number four. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? You damn fool. So close. Let me say something to this dragon. Dragon, you are full of shit. You know that? I don't give a damn about you rearing at me. That's a cold thing to do. I'm sorry about that, Gary. I'm angry at the dragon. Let's see the. I don't really care. Yeah, but let's see I the rest. Say would have either been five or eight. I say three. Yeah, let's see the rest of the amounts. Oh, it was nine. So yeah, but Gary, you still have fifteen thousand dollars, and um, hopefully you'll have a long run like Kyle did. Um, who, who you want? Probably not. But we'll see. You never know. Who do you want to face next? Whoever wants to play. We New York is next in line. All right, guys. So we're going to okay. take a quick commercial break and pay some bills. And we come back, we'll do Tic Tac Doe. Don't go away. All right, guys. We're back with Tic Tac Doe. Gary, you are a giant killer, bro. bro. You have $15,000 in cash. We could, we do salute Kyle for winning $1,454,622. We congratulate him. Thank you. Thank you. But Gary, I'm sure Gary wants to get there. So who is his next opponent, um, Corey? His first opponent for this match facing him off as champion is... It's Jay York. Challenger, man. Challenger. <laughs> mm -mm. You screwed up, Corey. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jay, how you doing? I've been doing good. Um, are you kind of glad that you don't have to face Kyle? I'm actually, actually, yeah. Because <laughs> he, he was a buzzsaw. He went through 25 opponents and beat everybody, so... Maybe um, you can beat Gary. Who knows? Or maybe Gary can stop you, but we'll have to find out. Right. Let's see our night. Nice... At this point, is may the best man win. Yes. Oops, sorry. Well, let's uh, see our nine categories, and they are. Here we go, and boom. Shapes. Secret category. Now, if you choose that category, you will get to double the value of the pot with the right answer. Game shows. Mixed fruit, that's going to be a scramble category. Cartoons, bonus category. Now, if you choose that one, you'll be asked a three-part question. And if you get that one right, you get another turn. U.S. presidents, jumping category, and the 50 states. Gary, you get to pick first. Okay, let's start off with, um, what's that one category up there on the right-hand corner? That's game shows on the right hand. Which right hand corner? Game shows, please. Okay, he won't game shows. Here's your question on game shows. On this GSN game show, it features Mark Labbitt trying to catch the contestant while answering trivia questions. Name this game show. Answer questions? Yeah, uh, question again is this game show has. Mark Labette trying to catch contestants while answering questions. What is the name of the show? Catch, catch. I'm thinking Wipeout, but no. I'm going to take a guess to say the American Bible Challenge. No, no. Uh, no, it's... It's, a, it's the chase. Chase, yep. Oh, shit. The chase. We shuffle up the categories, and Jay, you get the pick. All right, why don't I try game shows out? Okay, you're going, let's try game shows out. Okay, here's your question on game shows. 
This rigged 1956 game show was one of the subject of the quiz show scandals. The goal is for contestants to answer trivia questions from different categories to score this amount of points. Name this rigged game show. Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. This rigged 1956 game show was one of the subject of the quiz show's uh, scandals. The goal is for the contestants to answer trivia questions from different categories to score this amount of points. Name this rigged game show. Oh, my. Honestly, I've got no idea. No guess? No guess. The answer was, was... 21. It was 21, yes. Oh, 21. We shuffle up the categories. And Gary, you're up. Let's go for the time flies like fruit. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana, please. Or should I say mixed fruits? Going with mixed fruits, okay. We're going to need the chat box for that category, so... Okay. Okay. Look at your chat box, Gary. Okay. You see the um, mix of the scrambled up word? Yeah, I see it. Okay, this is the mixed fruit. This mixed fruit is also referred as the dry plum, and you could also buy them fresh. Name the fruit. Oh boy. Um, prunes? We'll take his prunes, right. That's an X, $2,000? Okay, because I wasn't really sure about that. I thought it would be prunes. You got it. You got it. Prunes, you just added an extra S from prune. But we'll okay. take it, right, Judge? Yeah, it's phonetically correct anyway because yeah, it's just added an extra S. All right, um, choose another category, um, Jay. Uh, let's give game shows a second chance. Game shows, okay. And here's a question on game shows. The short-lived 2010 Fox game show requires contestants to go through seven um, questions by putting 50 bundles of $20,000 on trap doors. The show was subjected to controversy when contestants um, Gabe and Brittany have a faulty question about post-it notes. Name the show. I think it's the million dollar drop. Judges, it's good. It's That's good. Million dollar drop internationally or million dollar money drop. Right, you got the circle, Jay. Good. We shuffle. Gary, where do you want to go? I would like to go home, please. In terms Anyways, of categories, for category wise, can we try shapes? I mean, not shapes. A cart. Yeah, you're committed. You committed. He said yeah, shapes. You committed since you said it. So it's yeah. yours. Shapes. You have to answer shapes. So here is the question. This shape has eight sides, and you commonly see this shape as a stop sign. Name the shape. Is it the octagon? It is the octagon, right. $6,000, and we shuffle. And where do you want to go, Jay? Game shows again. Going with game shows, okay. And this is a two-part question on game shows. Here's your um. And if you need the extra time, we'll give it to you. All right. I want you to name any two hosts of the show. Let's make a deal. Do you need the extra time? Yeah, I think I need the extra time. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jay, give me the two hosts of the game show, Let's Make a Deal. I'm going to say Monty Hall yes. and Wayne Brady. That's good. Put a circle up there, $9,000 in the pot. We shuffle. And uh, where do you like to go, Gary? Mixed fruit, please. All right, let's go to the, uh, the chat box again. All right, here you go. Type it in here.
You see that? Yeah, I see it. Okay, this good mixed fruit goes good on pies and is a popular fruit in Florida. Name it. Lime key? Judge? I said lime key. Lime key kind of said it backwards, so that's going to be if. Oh. It's iffy right now. I don't know if we should throw that out or do another one. I don't know for sure because I was thinking, you know, because, you know, it says mixed words, and I thought one goes well, I'm gonna one. Well, I'm going to have to say that's wrong because the okay. answer is actually key line. Okay, so, oh. yeah, all right. So, it's key line. Yeah, so. Yeah. So nine thousand thousand still in the pot, and we shuffle, shuffle, and uh, Jay, where do you like to go? Gotta go with shapes. All right, Jay. If you're correct on the category of shapes, you'll win the game with eleven thousand dollars, and you'll become the new champion. All right. Okay. Here's the question. This shape is a polyhedron formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex. Each base forms a triangle. For a tic tac toe and eleven thousand dollars, name the shape. Um, could you repeat the question once, please? Yes, I'll repeat it one more time. This shape is a polyhedron formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point that is called the um, apex. Each base forms a triangle. Name the shape. I'm gonna say a pyramid. You're the new champion, uh, Jay. Good job. So, Jay, you got $11,000, and in just a moment, Mint, you'll be facing the dragon shortly. Well, Gary, you did beat a tough champion. You have won $15,000 in cash, and our congratulations. And that gets recorded for the tournament, so you could be back. Yes. Possibility. And Yep. Possibility, yes. Because yep. we've done so many episodes, we need to start making the tournament list. Yes. Jay, are you ready to go? Once we get enough, probably like about eight or so, if we don't have any recurring champions, we'll probably cut it off and do a tournament. Yeah. Jay, are you ready to go for the dragon? I'm ready, Rodney. Let's go to the dragon board here. Jay, you saw how it was done before. Um, we're going to show you the board right here. And uh, Corey, tell them the prizes that he might win. All righty, Jay. As long as you don't hit hell here, we will give you out of the vault a Queen Anne console piano, a computer desk with Dell Pentium desktop set, a trip to Auckland, New Zealand, a brand new billiards table, a folding trailer, a trip to Juneau, Alaska, a price package worth 32928 Okay, and if you get the tick and attack, um, Jay, it's a $65,000 bonus, so I hope you can get it. I Look, hope I can too. Yes. We cover up the board, and Jay, start picking. All right. Let's start with number six. Number six. Let's see what's behind number six. $2,500, Jay. Now, you have the option of stopping or you can go for it. I go for it. All right. Um, nine. Number nine. Let's see what's behind number nine. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, boo! Well, the dragon is angry tonight. Oh, well. Let's see where the taking attack is. Behind right, one and seven. One Wrong oh, music. Sorry, sound guy, not again. Yeah. But uh, Jay, you'll be able to face another opponent on our next show. You have eleven thousand dollars. And guys, we're gonna take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll have closing remarks. Don't go away. Oh 
everybody, we had an eventful day on today on Tic Tac Doe. Gary um, killed a 25, or not killed literally, but he beat a 25 day champion who has won over $1.4 million. And that is not too shabby. And then we have our new champion, Jay, who just beat Gary with $11,000. But the dragon's mean, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Well, we hope we don't have to see how again. So, our next show, Jay will defend his championship and we'll see if he can go as long as Kyle. Until next time, this is Rodney1279 saying be safe, be careful, and take care of everybody. And stay blessed. Goodbye. Tic Tac Doe is a RTF JVD production.